success. And we celebrate success with a nice meal. Coming up in just a moment. Hey guys, welcome back to the 5R Show. I'm your host, Raymond. And today, we're celebrating success. I finished the Boss Coffee Transformers action figure set that I've always wanted to make, ever since I discovered them, of course. And so today, we're going to celebrate with a favorite of mine, which is known as a Cope Pan Double Peanuts. It's from the Family Mart Famima Bakery. And yeah, these are really tasty. And that's today's date, I think. So, anyway, and with our uh, sandwich being so delicious, we're going to have to wash it down with a nice cup of, or a nice can of, Cafe Au Lait from Boss. Now, I just picked this up. It's nice and warm. But as you can see, this has a promotional on it. This is an MB, MV, Invangelian. Invangelian. I can't pronounce it. Sorry, guys. In Vigelian, uh promotional for Boss. Rare motion visual. Rare motion visual. So anyway, I don't know what it is, but let's find out. So we have to just snap it off. Oh, there you go. So it's a QR code. So any of you guys can get it. So that's a QR code. I might get in trouble for this. Well, whatever. So that's what this is. I'll keep that aside. But now, as you can see, this is a Boss Coffee. Delicious Cafe Au Lait. But let's try our Transformers. And yeah, these would just clip on. And there you go. See, that's how it worked. So it's pretty tight, though. Maybe the can is new or something i don't know they might have been smaller boss coffee with a transformer figure on it all right so let's celebrate all right so in celebration i'm gonna have this meal with you guys so take off the toy and let's pop this open ah, delicious and our peanut bread Very tasty. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right, so now that we've had our meal, let's take a look at our completed collection of Transformers figures, Boss Coffee exclusives on their custom cards that yours truly designed. So let's get to it. And as promised, here we are, the entire Boss Coffee Collection of Transformers the Movie Micro Movie Action Figures. Japanese exclusives. So, as promised, I delivered all 10. You got Bumblebee, Jazz, Wheeljack, Ironhide, Optimus Prime. Down here you have Astro Train, Shockwave, Soundwave, Starscream, and Megatron. So, took a lot for me to make these and I've always wanted to do something like this so I think these look really great but again I'm being biased one of the problems with this whole set was and still continues to be Astro Train now while I mentioned in the first video that the Astro Train had given me problems with the bubble well and then when I cut the card it's a little smaller I went through three cards and then I tried to do it again and here is the, the printer ran out of ink. It's like something is saying, don't make Astro Train. So, <laughs> but I will. And here is another one with the bent fin on the back. So I just have to get another bubble and another card. Anyway, so back to the movie. I wanted to mention that on 
the right side, we have Wheeljack, Ironhide, Prime, Starscream, and Megatron. These five characters are the characters that, spoilers, got obliterated in the movie. That's why a lot of kids came out crying. Okay, so I remember when I went to the theater, my mom blackmailed us. <laughs> we had to clean the house and do all, all manner of chores just so she would take us to a twilight viewing of this movie at the local theater in L.A. And so when we did, yeah, we got, you know, the works, popcorn, sodas, and it was great. And I remember that while we were in the theater... It was just a young couple and a few little patches of a couple of kids and then it was just us. And we were hollering, we were making noise. It was just, we'd never seen it on the big screen, of course. I loved it. Of course, when Prime and Megatron had their battle, they, you know, such and such died. I was actually kind of excited because I knew that this was, that it was headed for it was headed in a new direction and that's what I wanted to see I was kind of tired of the same old battling on earth you know it gets boring it gets boring so that's what got me excited and then you know of course at the time season three was already on TV so you had Galvatron Rodimus Ultra Magnus you know yeah I guess Hasbro did it the wrong way you know they just said hey these guys are gone we replace them with new ones they didn't really care about emotions they cared about bucks so you know uh that was one of the things but me and my brother we were excited because you know it was a whole brand new assortment of characters and again like i said yeah i love prime megatron but i knew they were gonna be back and then another thing was in the commercial they actually ask you, does Prime die? And that's, I mean, that's a given. Why would they even say that if they were, you know? So as a kid, I knew, oh, okay, they're going to kill him. So, you know, and I thought they were going to kill Megatron too, but in a way they did. But yeah, they, you know, Starscream, I was shocked. And so was... Um, Wheeljack and I, I was, this guy, poor Wheeljack, I, I felt bad when I saw him. I said, that really, that's it? Just a, uh, <laughs> a dead cameo <laughs> is what I called it. So yeah, I, I was uh, very shocked about that. And, you know, I was kind of sad because he was a great kid. He's the one that designed and created the Dinobots with the help of Ratchet. But anyway, so... This movie has a special place in my heart. Uh, the memory of watching it in the theater was awesome. I loved it. Came out of the theater cheering. I was probably one of the very few kids that was cheering when it came out. Most of you crybabies out there. Oh, my childhood was... Oh, well, get on with it. I mean, things have to, you know, change. Things have to evolve next level level up you know and so for me season three season four you know if you didn't move on you we wouldn't have had power masters headmasters action masters so i kind of wish they kept going like they did in japan you know that would have been really cool so anyway that's my two cents on this uh collection on this movie uh make no mistake i am a fan but whatever happens, happens. I want to say thank you for sticking by. Thank you for watching the show. Thank you for watching me make these. And thanks for watching the 5R show. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for sharing, liking, commenting. Let us know what you think. And with that, I say thank you. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Take care and God bless you.